Hey guys, it's Maggie from the kitchen, looking ratchet as always. You know that feeling when you really want some food, but you're sick and tired of what you have at home, and you want to go, you want to get some drive through food, but you can't drive? Here is a solution for that problem, because today, we're making our own fast food. First off is a really simple, light, and, and we're going to be calling it quesadilla roll. But you will need tortillas and various pieces from your fridge. Move to the workstation and now we're ready to go. Take your tortilla, lay it on the counter, just put it down somewhere. Okay, you take your cheeses of many sorts. And we're gonna start with this Colby and Monterey Jack cheeses. And it's shredded. Cheese. Finely shredded cheese. Oh, why did I open a new one? Crap. Stupid. So you take your slightly less cheese because you don't want to open a new one when you have two already open. And you. Desired amount of cheese without covering it all. Okay. Next, you take the string cheese, which adds variety and thickness to the cheese. Ew, it's wet. The cheese, like so. Perfect. Oh, it needs a fridge. Fridge? What the hell? Try that again. We're going to put it on a plate. Transfer. Oh no, the jeans. There. Use two hands because it's a very messy job. We take the tortilla and the cheese and we put it in the microwave. Not the fridge. And then we'll do it, we'll do it for 20. Seven seconds. Look at that cheese go. Melt, 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 melting the cheese. Heating up the tortilla while we microwave the cheese. Ooh. We're going to do it for 27 more seconds. More. Here we go. Ooh. Smell that? It's the smell of success. Look at that. Mm. This one didn't melt as much, but it's very squishy, which is good. Perfect. Now we just start to fold the corner. Like so. Then you fold the other corner. Like so. Then you fold the other two corners. Like so. I'm making this up as I go. Then you slowly start to roll it. And I just ended it up ended it up holding it in half. And there you have it, a quesadilla roll with various cheeses. Now, the 
ultimate taste test. It's very hot. Tortilla is very chewy and the cheese is a little grainy, could have melted more. Overall, I say this is a success. Woo! Now, you put the cheese back in the fridge so it doesn't go to waste. Now, we're going to make fries. What you do is you take some potato chips and you put it on the plate that you used before to heat up the quesadilla roll. And you just sprinkle the plate with some chips. Not too many though, because you don't want to get fat. I'm just kidding. As many you want. Because who gives a next? And take a very sharp knife. Don't do that. It's very unsafe. And you just take the plate chips and slowly. Chop them up. Don't want any of it go to waste, so if some fly out, just put it back in the plate, even the ones that fall on the floor. Make sure to get every chip until you have a nice consistency of broken potato chips. That's the consistency you're looking for. We're going to Put the chips into the microwave. Beautiful. And we're going to cook it for 30 seconds. And then when they come out of the microwave, they'll be nice and hot. Don't burn yourself now. Here's the tool supervision is advised when you use the microwave. So now you have really hot chips. So now you have your french fries. I can't even tell the difference between this and regular fries. <coughs> Woo! We're to stay hydrated. Cooking is very hard work. This water bottle is bigger than my head. And if you want to make it cheese fries, just use some of the leftover cheese you didn't use from your quesadilla roll and sprinkle it on top of the chips and then microwave them. All right, so there you guys go. Hope this was helpful to making food. Fast food at home. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.